build anything else. Hmm. Wondering if I should build another radar array? Or if I should just save my funds and build another base. Since bases, uh, I have learned that since bases, they all have their own like stock of alloys and stuff. And like they'd have to have their own training centers. I'm not sure if I should do that after my first month. So maybe I should just get another radar array. Oh, oh, that's right. I Yeah, I can't afford it yet. I'm already spending uh, next month's money and I don't even have it. So, alright. Uh, let's look at my soldiers. Some unassigned. Here we go. Yeah, I got a lot of injured people and stuff. How far along is my second medical bay? Five days? Alright, that's not terrible. Okay, warden armor. I should build one or two stun guns. Maybe a stun baton, 20 stun, 30 EMP, 25 armor penetration, 15 stun, 22 EMP. I feel like the shields might be a good person to arm. Let's look at my soldiers again, we'll see. Do I still have any shields? Okay, so your time units are good. Your health is decent. Your good strength. Reflexes aren't great. But your bravery is high. So with all this armor, when we finish warden armor too, So we'll just unequip everybody that has the uh, old defender armor. You got defender, attack suit, warden, defender, uh, you're not injured so we'll just give you the warden. As well do that for everyone. Warden, 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 Warden. Alright, and then we'll see who is healed enough to go on another mission. Uh, do I have any more recruits on the way? Uh, so it looks like I got a bunch of people here. Take a look at recruits. I don't think there were many good ones. A lot of strength. Not great on time units. Although, since I have learned that heavies have much better accuracy when they don't move, I also learned that they um, that a higher strength increases their accuracy because they can handle the recoil. Oh, that reminds me, uh, we were talking in the comments about some of these things, so I'll, I'll mouse over these real quickly so you can read the updated text if it changed. I don't know if it changed or not, but I couldn't remember exactly what all this stuff said.
And I do know that the weapons fire on a percent base. Yeah, okay. So it does mention that here. So TU is mostly moving. And health. Can sustain more damage before being killed. I was wondering if it like gave them more resistance to bleed, but it doesn't say anything like that. Or strength, middling in HP and time units, good accuracy. I mean, you might make an okay sniper. I don't know if we need more soldiers right now. Also not sure how often this um, refreshes. So I'm not loving all these recruits. Okay, well, before I got sidetracked, let's go to equipment. Um, should I go with the baton? All right, melee 90% accuracy, 25% time units. Snapshot 60, normal shot 100% for 30 time units. They have to run up on them further, but you get more stun and EMP. Um, try one of each, I guess. Oh, the baton is a lot cheaper too. That's kind of nice. I don't know, the smoke grenades have been working out pretty well, but yeah, I don't know. All right, let's get moving. Stun gun. All right, stun baton. Should we sell this defender armor? If I lose the warden armor, I'm not sure if I want to be left with nothing. So maybe I'll hang on to the defender armor for now. On day 30, clean your cells. Alright, so that must happen at 50% network progress. Destroying a cell will end cleaner activity in the linked region and gives an opportunity to collect additional cleaner data. This will also weaken cleaner headquarters by removing the associated bonus from the defenders. I think I read that the cleaner headquarters isn't done yet. All right, so we got the medical center, that's good. Oh, did the month end? Got less, oh, there it is, okay. Alien victory if two regions lost. Interesting. Full income, 713. Wait, what? We only had like 50 grand before. How can this be? Show the expenses. Personnel upkeep, building upkeep, aircraft upkeep. We have no vehicles. Monthly upkeep, 1,025,000. Oh, this is just how much it increased, I guess. But they're each giving us this much, I guess. Then this is how much my funding or my expenses will increase. Okay. All right. I think I'm reading this right now. Okay, so before I go to a cleaner cell, I'm thinking laser weapons. So another one day and four hours. Just a hanger. Um, I don't know if I want to spend the money on a jet yet. There we go, laser weaponry. This is new, so I'll read this one out. 
Remarkable properties of Elenium have finally brought handheld laser weapons within our grasp. Commander, a, pros a prospect that appears to have generated a significant degree of excitement among the rest of our organization. Although annoying, this enthusiasm is not misplaced. My research suggests lasers will substantially outperform our existing ballistic firearms in terms of damage output and are much easier to aim due to the projectile traveling at the speed of light. The laser apparatus in these weapons is relatively simple, differing little from those already commonplace in modern electronics. The challenge has always been that delivering sufficient power for military use requires an energy source the size of a truck rather than defeating the point of making them man portable in the first place. Thankfully, the enormous energy density of Elenium virtually eliminates this problem, though heavier than an equivalent ballistic weapon and requiring more frequent reloads, these lasers can be carried by all but your most feeble soldiers. Finally, as you are no doubt ignorant of the finer points of laser physics, note that these weapons are not heat rays, as such they do not cut or burn their victims. Rather, they are beams of coherent light that pulse many hundred times per second, superheating and blasting away the surface of a target with each one. Such weapons have little trouble tearing gaping wounds into biological flesh, but are also extremely destructive, though not penetrative, against harder targets such as enemy armor or battlefield terrain. Uh, they inflict thermal damage. Battlefield terrain is especially vulnerable to thermal damage, so laser weapons inflict double damage to terrain. Nice. And they're easy to aim. Alright, laser beams travel at the speed of light, making laser weapons relatively simple for unskilled soldiers to use. Soldiers firing laser weapons therefore gain 0.5 accuracy for each point below 65. Alright, so 65 is the threshold. A soldier with 55 accuracy will therefore have an effective weapon accuracy of 60 when firing a weapon, and a soldier with an accuracy of 35 would have an effective accuracy of 50. A soldier with 70 accuracy would receive no bonus. Alright. Fantastic. No armor penetration though. But lots of armor destruction. We should bang out some of these interrogations. And then let's look at our soldiers again. So two snipers, two assaults. I like to have like two of each. But I don't really use grenades that often. Maybe I should start. Start with rifles. And then shotgunners. They tend to have low accuracy, so they'll benefit from that a lot. Actually, let's move those up. Then we'll do two of these. Ooh. And then precision lasers, two of these maybe. Or if we should do more engineers. We have the funding. We'll do two more scientists. Because this we actually have a bit of a backlog on. Actually, let's make it three. And since we're saving funds this month. Alright, and then we wanted another radar array. No, we need more power. Although, if we're researching Elenium next... 
Maybe that would give us more power. So let's do that and then we'll go into the interrogations. Alright, so we have our warden armor. We're just waiting on lasers and then we'll take on these guys. We're scientists and an engineer. Okay, finished training center, so that should put us at 100% training efficiency. Nice, nice. Perfect. can't remember in one of my test campaigns. Um, I think Elenium is what allows us to build a different airship. Or a different fighter anyway. Okay. Small, we can probably handle that. Oh, you lost your target. Alright, Elenium Power. There are several methods one can use to draw out vast reserves of power contained within Elenium each varying greatly in efficiency and complex complexity. The easiest method of extracting energy is simply place a pair of electrodes anywhere on the Elenium crystal, literally plugging it into a circuit as if it were a battery. The substance will then output a constant flow of electricity that is proportional to the size of the sample used. Unfortunately, this process will also cause it to radiate away significant amounts of excess energy as light and heat. This is merely wasteful and inefficient when used in small quantities of Elenium, but with larger amounts, it becomes dangerous. Oh, that's interesting. All right, this approach is thus best suited for use in smaller devices, such as the weapons and equipment used by soldiers. Although energy efficiency is less than 30%, the space efficiency and low overall weight usually make up for this. By contrast, in situations where size and weight are less of a constraint, one can achieve greater safety and performance by constructing a reactor around the Elenium. This captures the excess heat and converts it into electricity, which almost doubles the effectiveness of the process. Indeed, the extraordinary energy output of these reactors may allow quantum leap in the performance of our aircraft. I shall shortly begin preparing research proposals for how craft... Uh, for new craft capable of putting them to use. Yet most efficient of all are nitrogen-cooled elenium generators, which add delicate arrays of photovoltaic cells to bring conversion rates of energy into electricity up above 80%. Though far too bulky for general use, one suspects they could make an excellent replacement for the diesel turbines in our existing generator rooms. Dragonfly Dropship and Phantom Interceptor. Millennium Generator. Now I'm not sure if I should go into the interrogations or not. We're probably going to need new interceptors. We'll go into that first. And then over here, base upgrades. Oh, we need a lot of Elenium and we're using it on weapons. 
Well, that's okay then. I mean, we could just do the gas and more turbines. The 200k? Uh, not a generator. I wanted... Radar! Ooh, yeah, that puts us, like, right at... Right at the peak. There's a machine gun. Precision laser. We're really not seeing many, uh... UFOs coming through. I wonder if some laser pistols would be good. We have a stun baton for our shield. You guys all healed up yet? No, one assault is still... Still healing up, but that's okay. could bring this along. Lou, if you're wearing warden armor, it's only 3 TU, that's not bad. It only has 3 shots though. Bit of a bummer, but not the worst thing in the world. Um, all right. Okay, I'm going to set up who I want to bring with me, and then I think we'll be ready to go over here. Um, so I'm going to equip everybody from the army, and I'll be right back. All right, everyone's equipped. Let's go. Eliminate VIP at a dockyard. Um, persistent time. Controls all operations in the Soviet Union, Asia, Pacific, Africa, and the Middle East. Destroying it will reduce cleaner activity in those regions. Cleaner forces in this area use improved armor, which they are also supplying to the cleaner headquarters. Build the VIP and return the soldiers to the dropship for evacuation. Stun VIP and carry their body to dropship to capture them. It is not possible to win this mission via eliminating hostiles. As enemy reinforcements will spawn continually from turn 7. Alright, and then we got cleaner computers. And then stunning and capturing the VIP will greatly advance our work on the cleaner network. I don't think... That actually uh, matters right now. I don't think the headquarters is available in this early access. All right, tactical battle. All right, this is the secure processing area of the docks. Smart place to put regional control center. Certainly makes it easy to smuggle supplies in and out. Yeah. So we don't know who the cleaner leader is yet, but you'll probably know them when you see them. Sweep the area, find them, eliminate them. Grab whatever intel you can from the computers too. Oh, and the enemy reinforcements won't be long, don't hang about. 
Alright. Oh, it's at night. Uh, I don't know if that was smart of me. Additional rules around these tend to reduce sight range of units participating in the battle. All your soldiers have been issued flares. Just thrown like grenades. Provide a source of light. Not a lot of visibility for our poor snipers. Probably should have made some laser pistols. Shit! Guys got these fancy new lasers. Hundred percent. Do you think you can handle that? No, of course not. Yeah, still 2%. <laughs> really, dude? 30% three times. You still can't get shit done. Oh my god. Well, I guess these aren't much easier to use. Well, that was an ordeal.
case someone comes around here, which they definitely will. Doesn't say you're bleeding. You have a med kit though. So I'll hit him with that next turn. Two of them there. Uh, that's a shotgun. Ooh, they could probably jump over that. Shit. Alright, let's duck down then. There's no one guarding that door. Oh, I can't fire around the corner, of course. If I go here, we can still at least have a snapshot if someone comes through. And it's a shotgun, so that would be useful. So you'd be at 48. You'd have to turn and shoot. That would be what, 49? shift fifty three percent not great let's just get you over here and ready to pop up Can you take a look
you know ammo. We didn't see anyone here, but they might be up against this wall. Didn't even think about this. Uh, so we'd have, with nine, we'd have nine left. So yeah, we can get back up and get back down. No, nothing. Enough for a normal shot if they come around the corner. Probably gonna want you over here to help out with these guys. Later, bitch! Wow. So, 79% missed two out of three times. Nice. Oh, there's data over here. I'm, I'm gonna assume there's no one there, but you can't be sure. the walls come back over here look back can't crouch Yeah, that's not great. We'll just stick here on Overwatch. All right, precision rifle. Oh, uh, what? Turn are we on? 
Let's just say that. Oh, that's the edge of the map. Do something like that, get you ready for next turn, even though you can't really see much here. That buckaroo. Yeah, boy. Oof. Um... Can't quite make it over there. Oh, did I forget to heal that person that one turn? Was that you? We could just try and blow a hole in the wall. You can't throw that far. Twenty five. When I hit control, I can't force you to shoot. Okay, plus ten percent range, uh, intervening object, cumulative recoil, no move bonus is plus twenty. Nice. Attack module, negative three for warden armor. Two for a laser accuracy bonus. Oh, and we still couldn't shoot twice. Nice. My man. Mm. All 
right, let's get in a text. Had to check that out. All right, what was I doing? I was looking at this building. Um, I got my sniper here, hopefully on Overwatch. Oh, I was coming in here to check the reflexes, but I forget that that doesn't affect their chance of shooting. It's their defense. Oh, I wanted to look around this corner. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, well, hopefully there's nothing over there. Can't get through the door. Um, all right, let's turn that way. Although, probably could get shot from up here. Alright, I think I need to start sweeping this group around. I need to take this guy out first, though. sure if I should run him up or not. Uh, we don't have enough for a flashbang. Hello. Oof. Um, let's close this door. All right, so we're gonna need to bring even more people around. Hopefully he can't move up and get too many shots on him. Mm, maybe I do want to get aggressive with you. I don't know if I should abandon this team over here. You don't really have a view from over there. Alright, we'll, we'll keep you crouched for now. You looking off to that side. You're done, you're done. These guys must not have been aggroed. Could toss suppression. Let's 
don't know if we want to poke our heads in there yet. Go. Oh, we're gonna need to reload you soon. Destroy the computer. Yet another guy in there. Five. That wouldn't be enough to stun him, I don't think. Switch to the baton. So we couldn't see who was up in here. There was someone in here, I think, taking shots this way. I don't know if I want to run up here, though. So we'll have the snipers, I mean pistol overwatch at this distance, not great, but oh, saw another one, there you are. 54%. I don't think it'll kill him. Just move up, turn, crouch. Okay, so that gives you full cover.
He has a door there. I feel like that's most likely where he'll run around. Oh, we don't have enough to crouch. Shit. Yeah. Jump through there. Okay. This place isn't defended. That's good. Oh, I thought I had another guy down here. Shit. I'm assuming the VIP's gotta be over there. Um, so you only take seven shots, not ten. That's all you got in your clip. Oh, oh, he can't do it at all. Oh, it's just straight up killed him. Right click. Does it say four? Then there's. Oh, I need forty to reload. Damn. There you are, a hundred. Oh, well, that's where you went. you guys to come up and help breach oh, I didn't give any of you C4 did I that's a bummer I mean, at least they have a demo charge.
Damn it. It's really been seven turns already. Really? That's not showing his cover. Ugh. I will do... Oh, you can't even throw. I'm surprised that didn't destroy the computers. I have you here for next turn. Oh, you're out. 33. Well, that would be enough to pop smoke. Not quite ready to pop smoke yet. You're gonna have to reload next turn. someone to watch your back. Oh shit. Reload. Alright, where are the enemies showing up at? 
There they are. Yeah, they had a lot of shots. Still 39%. That's it. I'll make sure you guys are suppressed, though. I can't turn you around. Really, dude? So the difference between the blocking, uh, Twenty six times three, that's shit. Oh, my God, damn you. So it's gonna be one of these days, huh? You can't duck. You don't have a gun. And you're hurt.
So we can grab this, bring it over to the other guy. Nice. Oh boy. Okay, twenty one. Perfect. Hundred percent. But we gotta reload. And that screwed us. Took care of that. Oh, you're bleeding too? What? You can get reaction fire? On a fucking heal? Okay, he's suppressed. The guy's dead. Let's start getting the hell out. Come over here and heal him when he comes through. Um, shit. Perfect. I wasn't sure if dropping it would have a TU cost or not. Ah. I wish you could pick up a spot next to you, too. What 
whatever. We don't need it. Did you just go berserk? You dick! Ock. Well, maybe I should have had you pick up a gun. Oh, wait, there's one up there. can't jump down or crouch damn it percent times three no thank you our team to drop Dude, you got a lot of issues.
Hey, at least there's no one over there. Don't want you running through that way. Set you up on Overwatch. One for three round burst at least. What oh, another one? Where the hell is he? Eat that. Uh, I was going to grab that to sell it, but I think that's just a normal rifle that we already own. Uh, you don't have a ton of health, so let's just have you jump down. I would feel a lot better if I could actually spot the guy over here. Just reload. This is a shotgun. Do that in case anyone's over here. We gotta clear the way for the rest of these stragglers. They must have good eyesight. Ah, oh, there's two of them there. Well, there we go. Eat that. Get you up here to help out uh, with Overwatch. Everyone else, get to running. 
These laser rifles are making all the difference. Probably guys over here, too. Oh, well, actually, no, that's the water. Okay, are we good? Oh, thank goodness for that warden armor. We can't do two people running at the same time. Excellent. Mission accomplished. Man, hour and a half. <laughs> Okay, well, at least we made it out of there with some cleaner data. Got a couple of wounded people. No medals. You took a lot of hits and you didn't get any, like, medals for that? We'll start eliminating ugh, five hostiles across the career. Oh, nice. Crimson Heart, 30 HP of damage in a single combat mission. You telling me that Lieutenant Anderson didn't get 30 cumulative damage? Not sure what her total health is. Okay, well with that, I'm gonna end this here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.